Welcome back to Topher's Garage, everyone. Um, so today we're gonna be installing a exhaust manifold. So uh, the one that I have on the Jeep currently is uh, original and it's got a crack in it. So um, we're putting a new one on. So let me quickly show you the new manifold. So there's the new manifold. Um, as you can see, it's got these kind of flex parts built in that the original uh, exhaust manifold doesn't have. Um, Got the hardware with it, uh, gasket, uh, new gasket, donut gasket for the downpipe, uh, a couple bolts, um, and I'll link these parts in the description. So looking at the top of the engine, um, the exhaust manifold is actually under the intake manifold here. So we're going to have to be taking off quite a few parts, uh, the air box, the uh, fuel rail and the you know, associated components, and then the uh, intake manifold also. As you can see, we got the air box out of the way. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, remove this uh, wire harness right here and the plugs for each of the fuel injectors. Um, I'm gonna label mine as I remove them, um, just so I know they go back in the correct order. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So with the uh, fuel injectors unplugged, uh, we've got a few more sensors to unplug. We've got uh, the thermostat to unplug, um, the O2 sensor cord, which runs all the way down here to the, the O2 sensor. Um, we've got idle air controller, um, throttle position sensor, um, and then whatever this one was. And then we can get this loom of wires out of the way. So as you can see, um, the power steering pump is actually bolted to this bracket, which this bracket is then bolted to the intake manifold and it looks like these two spots. So we're gonna have to remove our power steering pump um, so that we can get to this bolt and then the one underneath and free those um, so we can uh, get that intake manifold out. So that's what we're gonna work on now. So the next thing we're going to do is remove these two fuel lines first. We'll relieve pressure on the fuel rail by underneath this cap here. There's like a little, almost like a bike tire. We'll put a rag over that and press it with a screwdriver just to release any pressure on the fuel rail. And then we'll get these two fuel lines taken off after that. Those two fuel lines 
are bolted onto the intake manifold there. We'll remove these two bolts um, and move on to the next step. So the last thing we have to do before we start uh, removing the intake manifold is just uh, pulling some more of these random little vacuum lines, um, you know, the brake booster, you know, whatever this one is, and then these two right here. Um, Got to remove this one little bolt um, that holds on the plug for the uh, crank position sensor. Uh, we removed the plug earlier, uh, wherever it is here, um, but we just got to Get it free from the intake manifold um, the other end of the plug so we can uh, start moving that So we got the bolts up top broken loose. Um, we'll climb underneath and start trying to loosen up those ones. I may be able to reach some of them from the side, kind of feeling around under the intake manifold, but um, the other ones I may have to climb underneath the vehicle to do that. So we'll get started on that. Off. So there's the Jeep with the intake manifold off. Um, so I left these last two bolts, there's one at that end holding the uh, exhaust manifold on. I still got to remove the two bolts holding or bolting the manifold to the downpipe. Um, so I'll remove those, remove these last two bolts, and then we'll get the exhaust manifold off. So my phone died last night, but where I ended up was got the uh, exhaust manifold free, um, but realized I can't get it off due to this bracket being here. So I'm going to have to remove that bracket. So I'm going to put a uh, shop towel on each of the intake and exhaust ports um, and then we'll get this all cleaned up, get that wasp nest or whatever it is off of here and get some deep greaser and clean it up and then we'll get to reinstalling the, the uh, new exhaust manifold.
with the uh, intake manifold on. Just gonna start uh, reinstalling parts, reconnect these fuel lines, um, mount them here, start reconnecting the various vacuum hoses, get the power steering bolted back up where it's supposed to be. So uh, we'll get going with that. guys so um, my camera died so I missed you know putting everything back together but uh, basically just got everything buttoned up took it out for a spin and everything's working well so if you found this video helpful um, please like subscribe comment let me know if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them and we'll see you in the next one